We can cascade several operation amplifiers by connecting the head of one amplifier to the tail of the other amplifier. And the amplifiers do not have to be in the same configuration. In here, I'm showing you an example of two amplifier circuits, and this is one, and this is two in here. And these are typically called stages, so I can separate them. For example, this is stage one, okay, and this here is stage two. And in this particular case, the stage one and stage two both happen to be of the same configuration, and that's the inverting amplifier configuration because I have the input connected to the negative, and the input here is also connected to the negative. Of course, the head of this amplifier is connected to the tail of the other amplifier, so they're cascaded. And as it turns out to be that if you have different gains, for example, this one here will give me a closed loop gain of G1, this will give me a closed loop 2 of G2, and we know ahead of time that that should be negative R2 divided by R1, and that should be negative R4 divided by R3, because we know the inverting amplifiers and how they work. And as it turns out that the general or the total gain, um, the closed loop gain, that will be simply the stage one gain times the stage, stage two gain, and that will be just simply R2 times R4 divided by R1 times R3. Of course, um, we I've done it this way without any proofs, but we can actually take a look at the proof very quickly. And the proof would be simply, let's take a look at how does the, imp the output relate to the input. Okay, so we'll take a look first at VA and we write some nodal analysis. And again, our assumption is that this IN is zero, this IP is zero, this IN is zero, and this IP is zero. Okay, and of course, if I know this one here, this VP is um, equal to the VN, and this one here is also zero volts. Okay, so let's double check here. So, well, we know that VA is just simply you can write nodal analysis in here or you can recognize. Um, uh, that they're in series and the difference between them is VI minus V not and second and just you write that or we can just say well we know that this is an inverting configuration so it's just simply negative R2 divided by R1 times VI or V input and now the V a is actually the input to the second stage so that means the V output is just simply negative R4 divided by R3 times V A all right, so I'll take this VA and just substitute it by its value in here. So I'll combine them now. V0 will be just simply negative R4 divided by R3 times negative R2 divided by R1 times VI. And of course, if I take the V out divided by VN, and I call this the total gain, and it will be simply R2 times R4 divided by R1 times R3. And that's exactly what we saw in here by telling you that you just multiply um, the gains of every different stage. And again, in here, I'm, I'm assuming just ideal cases, but in general, if I have more, more stages, for example, five or four, all you have to do is just take the gain of the first stage times the gain of the second stage, the third stage, and, for, and so forth. And again, they don't have to be of the same configuration. So if the second configuration happened to be in a non-inverting case, you just basically tell me that would have been um, R4 divided by R3 plus one, and you just multiply it that way.